Welcome to our video market overview, where we look at the futures market from a volume and technical analysis perspective, focusing on market news, economic data. In this review, we look at the S&P 500 index futures contract. Ticker, ES, Exchange, CME. We will highlight important volume support and resistance levels. Economic calendar, June 29th US, GDP report for the quarter. The previous GDP figure was 2.6%. Analysts forecast was 1.4%. June 30th UK, GDP report for the quarter. The previous GDP figure was 0.1%. July 3rd US, holiday, early closing. July 4th US Independence Day. Heat map of the index stocks for the week. Almost all weighted stocks are in the green zone. Big bank stocks are in the red zone. It is worth watching the dynamics in the coming days. Heat map of the index shares for the month. Most sectors are in line with the trend. Compare the performance of the main indices over the week. There are no strong deviations from the main trend so far. If we compare the one-year period, we can see that all of the futures contracts of the main indices are making good progress. The rally in the indices is likely to continue until the 4th of July. On this chart we will highlight several important levels of the past contract. The key range is 4118 to 4170. We will mark it as a volume core. 4160 is the VWAP index. 4,279 to 4,300 is the volumetric support range of the last contract. If we compare the histogram of the total volume by day, we can see that the trading volume for the day in the current contract is at an average level. Large traders are acting cautiously. This is confirmed by the filter of big trades. The triangles in red and green are marked on the chart. Main volume area of the current contract is 4410 to 4420. It is worth noting that the buyers this week consolidated the price above the level of the VWAP indicator of the current contract. I recommend setting price alerts at 4500, 4430, 4400, 4350. Activity of large traders is weak. Big deals are marked by triangles on the chart. The open interest indicator confirms it. The daily time frame chart is presented as a double cluster. The left and right side of the profile shows bid and ask volume respectively. Green filter highlights prices when liquidity overshoots on the buyer's side. Red filter highlights prices when liquidity overshoots on the seller's side. Key support range is 4,410 through 4,425. Coincides with the main volume area range. Second support range is 4,385 to 4,397. 4,448 to 4,458 is the resistance range. 4,466 to 4,477 is the second resistance level. On this tick chart for June 28th, note the price of 4,420. On the price and total histogram you can see a large imbalance on the buy side. The figures show the delta value. Important last day price ranges are marked on the chart. If you have a buy of the standard and pause 500 index open, there is no hurry to close it until at least July 4th. Thanks to the American tradition of celebrating Independence Day in a big way, many companies are boosting their profits. Stocks rise in value in anticipation of a major holiday. Pay attention to a possible sell-off of big players on Friday and Monday. The price is now trading above the main level and above the VWAP indicator a good indicator of buyer confidence. But the weak trading volume and the fact that the index is close to an all-time high encourages caution. Thank you for watching, discuss and ask questions in the comments to this video.
subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this video with your friends on Facebook.